What's good everyone, we back with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Baker Lulon in Train Some World 2. Before we get started, if you've ever been on a train before, smash that like button. Let's go for a good amount of lights so Dovetail can actually see this video and fix the game. The Baker Lulon is a route that comes with Train Some World 2. It is a part of the London Underground, also called the Tube by Recklers. Dovetail Games attempted to recreate the Baker Lou in game, however, it is not without its faults. Starting with the first thing, the livery designer. I found that creating liveries for certain trains in the game was very nice. However, there are many glitches with the livery designer, most notably, random shapes appearing on the front and top of the train. A nice addition to the livery designer would be the option to snap a shape to a certain part of the train like the doors, to make creating liveries easier. Overall, I did like the livery designer, however it seems like it is an early concept, and the various bugs that are contained in the livery designer make it seem like they barely did any testing on it. Next on the list, the scenario planner. When creating a custom scenario, I found it very difficult to figure out which platform would have the trains facing a certain direction. Overall, it is a cool concept to be able to create your own scenario. However, it needs lots of polishing and new features to make the scenario planner better and on par with the actual scenarios they give us in game. I found that sometimes when playing a created scenario, I would be stuck behind another train that would never leave the next station, preventing me from proceeding along the route. Moving on to the actual route and gameplay, it is a very relaxing game. However, with it being a game, there's bound to be some inconsistencies and differences to how the route actually is in real life. When in a tunnel, the headlights do not reach far. In online videos, the headlights reach further down the tunnel than they do in the game. Speed limit signs are too low and are difficult to see when operating without the HUD. Track noise is non-existent, which leads to an unconvincing ride. Here's how it should sound. And here's how it actually sounds in game. There are no automated announcements as well. The game does not give the player any time at all to give the train set up like a real life operator, which leaves the player late to every station along the route, making countdown clocks give an inaccurate ETA of the train. The Real Baker Lou line runs 20 to 21 trains per hour, while in the game there are only about 4 to 6 trains per hour, which leads to long wait times for the player, should they want to ride the train instead of operating it. For me, I've had to wait 22 minutes for a train to arrive at my station. There is no snow in the game. There is an option for snow in the game, however, it does not snow, it is only rain when you select precipitation. In this video in the background, you will be able to see that there is only rain and no snow falling from the sky. Passengers are lifeless and glitchy, not to mention there aren't many of them in the first place. Here, you can see a clip of the next train coming in 28 minutes. On the bright side, Dovetail Games has delivered to us a London Underground route. It wasn't the most requested underground route, but they have given us one. It is littered with bugs, however, parts of the game are good, and it's cool to play as a passenger and be a virtual rail fanner. There are collectibles along the route, which are called jobs in game. They require you to place newspapers, posters, route maps, and fix broken camera displays. The Baker Lou line gives the player a good London Underground experience. However, I would not recommend anyone picking up Trainsome World 2 until they fix the various bugs in the game. You will be disappointed by the amount of game breaking bugs there are causing the player to actually glitch into the game by deleting certain files. My final score for the Baker Lou line, 6 out of 10, Dovetail Games could have done better. 
If you are new to the channel and enjoy the content I put out, consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button so Dovetail can fix this game. Catch you guys in the next one. See ya.